What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we are going to be covering a game that is on Indiegogo. Now I already know there's a lot of people out there who have been burned by crowdfunding games and I feel bad for those guys and it's really scumbaggy of those companies because a lot of time they go into those campaigns knowing full well that they haven't asked for the sufficient funds to finish an entire game like that or they just do some bullshit along the way and fuck people over. Either way, this game does not look like it's going to be cut from the same cloth. I already checked it out myself, no first time reaction this time, but I had to look at it, and as soon as I did, I knew I had to talk about it. Let's give a big shout out to Onyx Leo. Onyx Leo, thank you for showing me this on Twitter. I definitely need to showcase this with you dude. So let's see exactly what he said here. Already have it open in another tab. What is up, Etika? I know you usually don't make videos about crowdfunding games. I did once with Night Terrors, but this game really needs your help. Indivisible, an RPG being made by the Skullgirls dev team, is 100% transparent with its funding, and it has a playable demo for people to try out to show that this is a real, tangible game, and not just another scam full of pretty concept art. We all know what he's referencing there. It doesn't look like it's going to hit its target funding, so it could really use that positive boost because it's currently being overshadowed by the Star Citizen debacle. Another one of those instances where a game does not complete its crowdfunding goal and it winds up that people wasted their money on it even though they go by like a contract where it says oh you cannot get your money back because you already invested in this and whatnot it's fucked up but that's the way it is sometimes with these campaigns let's see exactly what it is so indivisible an rpg by Zit lab zero and 505 games now if you've all played Skullgirls, you can kind of guess what the art style will be like it's drop dead gorgeous and the gameplay itself along with the sprite work is just as good we got to see exactly what the video is so um let's take a look here like i said i already watched through all this so i know everything we're going to see here but wait until you see it my dude you might have heard of this already but if you haven't then you're gonna fucking be informed after this let's go hopefully you can hear it uh, very, very, uh, the protagonist is very easy on the eyes, I'll give it that. There we go. But like I said, you can see how the sprite work is definitely, like, from the same team as Skullgirls, because it all, it, it basically all fits the same style. Uh, and I like that. The Skullgirls artwork was amazing, and the sprite work was even better. And I, I think it works really well. So, that's the protagonist. Um, I know some of the details about the game because I read the um, Indiegogo, like the little blurb that tells you all the information, but um, not everything is known currently, so. She can apparently channel different spirits inside of her, and she can use their abilities to help her out. Oh, and so now, this is actually a platformer. Well, until we get to later on in the video, but you can you can transverse different areas and you can use weapons to transverse those areas as well too. So as you can see, she uses the axe here against the enemies, but she can also use the axe to like break down obstacles and to potentially like hook herself onto a ledge like this. It looks really, really good. I mean, can, like, is am I the only one who's just like, my, my jaw is just like open at how beautiful this shit looks? I think it's like a 3D background, but 2D sprites transversing through it. So, I mean, it, it still looks good, though. There's plenty of games that follow that format that look amazing. And the battle system, my boy. Apparently, it's influenced from an old PS1 game called Valkyrie Profile, something like that. But the battle system looks incredible to me. It's actually action-based. Action RPG platform. Have you ever heard of a mix of those two genres before? Probably, there probably have been. I, I, I haven't really played too many games like this. There definitely has to be some other ones out there, but this one looks amazing with that Skullgirl style artwork and that sprite work too. Really cool looking shit. And the enemies look creative too. Like you got the hair with the organs in it. Like what the fuck is that? Nigga, what the fuck is that? I mean, I, I mean I, I'm gonna mention this again. The protagonist is really cute. So I mean, it works so fucking well, dude. It works extremely well. And she has different forms too, apparently. I think her name's Ajna? A-J-N-A? Or Anja? No, it's Ajna. Definitely Ajna. So you could just be walking around platforming, um, jumping from area to area, and then as soon as you run into an enemy, a whole full action RPG battle starts. And it's seamless. Like, it happens instantly. There's no loading screens or anything, apparently. So, and she's real tomboyish too. She had the skirt on and then she, she hiked it up. That's how you know she's ready to kick some ass, man. Like, like, she's a lady when she needs to be, but when it's time to fuck up niggas, she gets to work. Like, I love it. I love, I love it. I love it. Holy shit. All right, so 
I don't know. I don't want to take too much time in the video, like looking through all the details of the campaign. But remember, this game also has a playable demo, or they didn't. They don't even call it a demo themselves. A prototype available for you to download and play right now. And I, I really can't wait to get my hands on this. I'm not sure if I'll be able to play it while I'm here at Sully's place. Maybe I will, but I'm not sure how complicated it will be to set up. But I will definitely be playing it at some point, maybe when I get home. And let me know if you'd be excited for that. This game looks incredible. So I advise you guys to check it out. Go read through the campaign. I'll probably be reading through the campaign myself in a later video, just to show off more details about it. The game has a big-ass goal. It's trying to raise $1.5 million, my boy. That is a little bit over the top, especially considering it's an indie game. But at the same time, it's from the Skullgirls development team, dude. These guys know what they're doing, and at least they're being straight up with how much money they would need. You know, they got to hire people to work. And this game has an estimated date of, I think, 2018 for when it comes out. So it's going to be a pretty serious title. I think it's going to be on multiple platforms as well. I love it. From what we saw from that trailer, I'm really feeling this game. Of course, more details will come out as time goes on, and they only have 38 days left to reach that goal. I don't know if it's possible, but I really am wishing the best for these guys, because Skullgirls was an amazing title, and more artwork like that, more gameplay like that, it, it, it just would work so well, man. And it, it already looks like it works well in the goddamn trailer. Guys, check it out, and let me know what you think in the comments. I will talk to you dudes in the next one. Be hyped, because I will probably be playing this either on stream or in videos on YouTube, most likely both of them. So be aware and on the lookout for those. Take care of yourselves. And of course, well, I mean, not the game itself, but you know, the prototype that I'm downloading right now. So um, take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.